Wolf pack. Wolf pack. But uh. Oh. Oh look. And <laughs> look at the look at the dogs run free. Let's, um, now I'm curious. Will the the man who's been playing spaces for the last four years have a better spacey than the man who's been playing Quilly's wolf and now Zephyr's wolf for since Ultimate oh, started? Um. So far, you're it's going it's going to Tiger Boy. He's had, he has a very strong lead, and uh, one of the scary things about one of those people you said you mentioned playing against Quilly, who he likes to throw in those. You know, what would be funny if I or Did, just yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I've been describing to like people. It's like Quilly hits the way I see them. Dimes plays. He plays very nice tactically, but above all, very by the book. And I don't know if those very random sporadic options are gonna make the difference in this ditto. Oh, Nair. Nair gets right in front of him. Oh, and a good knowledge right there. Yep. Playing safe and oh, just edge guarding properly. Just choosing options that won't get him hard punished. Yeah, when the chips are down, I'd say the biggest thing when it comes to this uh, ditto has to be who edge guards the best. Oh, definitely. You see them both at heavy, heavy percent uh, on that first stock. And really, it's... Oh, and an ill-advised roll right there. Dunn's going to lean back at his seat. He knew he shouldn't have made that option. Uh, let's see if we get get the uh, names fixed. We're not looking at dimes and uh, notch. Hello. Yeah, just kind of oh, swap yeah. swap notch with Tiger Boy and oh, switch yeah. them on both sides. Apologies. Thought I had, had saved earlier. We're back. Hey, that's looking a little bit better. Yeah. Just a little bit. Thanks, uh, thanks, Goobly, for that. Didn't, didn't, didn't see that. Thanks, Mara. A little string. Not, not too many, not too many big combos. It's just uh, Tiger Boy just seems to be hitting times a bit more harder than he's hitting him. I mean, a bit uh, harder, a bit more often. And oh, okay, he caught him. He got all the way over him. Well, uh, as his name implies, nickels and dimes will definitely come a long way when you go into bank. <laughs> hey, he's got to save up. You saw, you saw, he lost the first stock, but now he's, you know, all that money he's been saving up. He's, he's gonna try and buy himself a win. The, uh, the best part about Wolf that I've seen is like, even though he's a heavy, he's he's one of those heavies that doesn't hit you hard often. <laughs> often. <laughs> I have to, hard. I have, Boom. I have, to, I have to. I have to say that because like I think it's down throw or forward throw uh, into like player, uh, forward air and up air, just combo into like strings of forward air and up air. So like especially stay like battlefield, you can just carry from the, from the bottom to the top. These guys are very. Uh happy with uh, trading lasers as long as the other guy gets a laser in him. Oh! He's going to use the side B to keep up the chase, but so much end lag on that landing of the side B. Oh, good job taking away there from Tiger Boy. One of the only... Mm. I remember that conversation with uh, between Quilly and Tiger Boy. It's like, if you're getting um, you know, uh, tech chased by Wolf and you tech chase the tech roll in, you're dead. You tech roll in place, you're dead. If you, uh, if you don't tech at all, you're dead. So you better tech roll out. What if you're through a ledge? Well, then I guess you die. Well, I guess you die. Yeah. <laughs> that's just that's just how the game goes. Cause if not, Wolf would never be able to kill. Oh, definitely. <laughs> I mean, unless he does the the, the, the mid level. Mm, going for if the option, but he's gonna survive for it for now. We're gonna see a back throw. Mm. Oh, okay. That, that's gonna nick him. Oh um, my goodness! The nair interrupts. That was such a risk. Tiger Boy would have been dead for sure. Now Tiger Boy with a bit of the lead. He's just gonna. <gasps> was not anticipating that to kill. He just did it. Where's Quilly? And Qu Quilly has his head down. He, oh, I think he could feel it in the wolf in the wolf verse, in the furry verse. You could feel it. The ground is shaking. Tiger Boy is shaking his feet. Oh my goodness. What a call out. Not even a read. That was just a call out from Tiger Boy. It's going to FD nowhere to go here except right off stage or right in front of your opponent's fist. Yeah. And we're going to see the yink. We're going to go the actual match that we were expecting. It was almost as if it was almost as if that game 1 was a message. A I message about player. yeah about who's the dominant wolf because you see not only is Sh uh, Tiger Boy off of uh, Wolf but so is Dimes here. We figured out who the alpha of the pack is. For yep, right who the who the alpha is. That was, that was an interesting con uh, confirm. I didn't. And something strange I I've noticed about um 
uh, Tiger Boy's uh, Toon Link, or Toon Link, Young Link, Young Link, is it plays so much like his Toon Link, and it's weird. Especially <laughs> whenever, uh, you know, Young Link plays a lot more like a, like a projectile ZSS by some people's terms. Like, you could just, like, uh, arrow to arrow to arrow to up B people if you wanted to. But I think, I think uh, Tiger Boy's got a, he's had plenty of time with the game now to figure out what the difference is between those two characters. Almost got him with that third hit. What the difference with those two characters are. And we're seeing some more um, classical Young Link play coming out of him. Especially with that combo game getting dimes all the way up to 113. Spicy number on uh, Tiger Boy right now with the percent. I'm wondering if uh, Dime Steel is more comfortable with uh, a better recovery here, and because uh, you know before he you know he had a straight he had two options of recovery, mm. like basically straight up or a uh, uh, very easy to guard angle. Yeah, and especially with uh, FD nowhere else to go, you really gotta appreciate um, the extra bit of a uh, the extra options that Fox is gifted <laughs> one one in comparison to Wolf. Oh, that Both went players. over. One, uh, Tiger Boy missing his edge guard and uh, Dimes missing the punish. It looks, it doesn't, oh, he hasn't got maybe maybe an up air, but Dimes gonna continue to live. Oh, Sean had the read. Dimes hasn't really uh, been able to get much started, and whenever he does, it doesn't seem like it's much. Yeah, and he's just kind of he's just chicken. getting the, the odd hit every now and again. But hey, if you know, just being alive. <laughs> First stock, especially uh, with one g game left from uh, getting knocked in losers, you gotta take that as a blessing in disguise. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Both oh, still in there. and there it is. Yeah. Oh, something had to give in at nearly 200%. It's really surprising, you know, seeing Young Link, you'd expect, it, like, yeah, he's maybe not, you know, maybe as strong as Toon Link. He just has so many issues killing that like, you just don't expect. Yeah, I'd say if anyone's a doubter of uh, Young Link's inability to kill you can show him this set it's it's been a tough road so far for both players not just dimes but also tiger boy who's who's knocked off what is this two and a half minutes on the clock just just doing what two, all of that was focused on 200 percent on dimes edge guarding trying to get a kill now here's dimes oh he's gonna stick the foot all the way out he was hanging off that ledge with his tail and no jump Okay, he's gonna continue just guarding the ledge, and the boomerang's gonna catch him. Dimes turn to retaliate. He's got a jab to put him off stage. Okay. See, oh. Let's see how uh, Dimes can edge. Ooh, he can't even jump off that guard. Maybe it was a possible mistake that jab at the uh, ledge. Easy invincibility for the get up to attack the catch. Okay, now no jump. And Dimes has to be very careful when it comes to his combo game against Young Link, just as fast as him. Both players have very. Uh, both characters definitely have very quick nares. Easy, good, very good. Yeah, you see ju just a slight hesitation when it comes to every single nair. But uh, that hesitation might be the deciding factor because if Dimes is not going to pull the trigger, Tiger Boy most certainly will. Oh yeah, never give, le never let Tiger Boy get that momentum going. Oh no, you don't want to get it going. It. The momentum might actually stop because this is Dimes' last stock, possibly for winner side. Trying to catch him, rolls behind. It ain't doing, but he's gonna. Oh, the nair came out. The nair came out just in the nick of time. The nair stuffed that up smash so fast. That was Dimes' stock. Okay, good tomahawk. The boomerang coming back, and great timing by that forward throw. And that there's the back air. It's gonna right. go last stock, only 50%. Let's see if let's see if uh he can sneak in some early percent combos. And he jumps into that. No jump on Dimes now. He's going off stage. Palm won't hit. We, if we have anything to go by with the last two stocks, he's got maybe another like 70-80% on him still to, uh, to survive, depending on what Tiger Boy can pull out. Yeah, quite kills. possibly. But now that's the last stock, you gotta wonder if maybe Tiger Boy is gonna pull out an edge guard finally, because he's been very content with uh, just hanging on to the ledge, but if uh, anything goes like it did on that first stock, the bomb's gonna hit. Oh, he won't have to tech. That could've been scary. Oh, it, wait, did it cross up anyway? But it doesn't matter, the F smash. All right, Tiger Boy taking it 2-0 over Dimes. I got a bit confused with that interaction. The side B crossed, it, it hit his shield, but he was on the other side. I don't know if Tiger Boy moved himself or? There's um, there's some weird interactions you can sometimes get where like Fox and Falco will go under the shield if the shield is Ugh. too small. Remind and people aim it up. Well, remind me to 